Okay, so let's go ahead and cover premium webhooks, okay? Now, if you're new to webhooks or you've never used webhooks before, then this is perfectly the training that you wanna watch because if you're not a high-level user, high-level just released um, this new feature called the high-level premium webhooks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with you. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna explain to you what webhooks um, are in the next few minutes, just for those of you who are um, basically new to webhooks, right? And use cases for it as well. So obviously in this training, obviously we'll cover uh what are webhooks okay so what are webhooks so first thing first let's go ahead and cover um webhooks in a broader perspective right think about webhooks as in the sense as to let me go ahead and get my uh uh let's say you want to send data okay from either you know one of your websites let's let's do that let's say you want to send data from a okay and you want to send data to um, let's say somebody fill out a form on your website or form on a landing page and you want to transfer that data to your CRM, right? Typically how you would do that is you would either do that via, um, you know, Zapier webhooks, okay? Or basically uh, Integromat, right? Now you're like, okay, what is Zapier? What is Integromat? You have to think about it from a perspective as that data, okay? Let's say I come into your website, I give you my information, right? How does that data get transferred from, you know, me giving you the form to either your CRM or a spreadsheet, right? Something has to bridge the gap. Something has to bridge the gap. And what bridges the gap there is called a webhook, okay? That's what a webhook does. A webhook pretty much bridges the gap for you, okay? Now, let's go ahead and continue here as far as um, um, what a webhook is and how a webhook can pretty much help you bridge the gap there. So, all right, let's go ahead and exit that. So, the common use cases for webhooks, like you, like I said, if someone filled out a form for, on your website, someone filled out a form on your landing page, somebody gave you the information, or let's say somebody made a purchase and you need that data to flow from point A to point B, right? So that's where a webhook would come in. Now, there are different types of webhooks, okay? Now, there's a get request, go get, post, put, delete. There's, 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 there's a bunch of them, but I want to cover the common use case or the common um, HTTPS request, right? So get request, okay. So... Let's use a scenario, okay? I want to use a scenario of me, okay? This is your website. I visit your website, okay? I give you my information. I come in. Uh, actually, let's use something a little bit more fun, okay? I give you my information right there. All right, hold on. There you go. That's me. I come in there and I give you my information. Okay, perfect. So now you have my information, right? So now what you want to do here is you want to basically have that data Hold on, before I continue here, my screen just got really bright and I don't like, uh, I don't like too bright of a screen. It hurts the eyes. Good. All right. So I want to basically get that data. I want to get that data from the, uh, my information, right? You want to get my information from there and you want to populate it into your CRM. Okay. You want to populate it into your high level, right? Now, how you would do that obviously is with a get request. A get request simply as it is, is I am getting information from A and I'm moving that request to B. That's what a get request is, right? The next, next is a post request. Okay. Now let's say, you know, I want to take that information that somebody gave me, like I want to, you want to take my information and you want to put that information on a spreadsheet. That's a post request, right? You basically take information and you're posting it somewhere so you can use a webhook as well. What the webhook does is it gets the data, holds the data in, and then posts the data wherever it is you want it to. But <coughs> put request is just basically you want to make any adjustments to it, right? You want to put some new information and you want to kind of make adjustments to it. And a delete request is simply you want to delete. So the common use that you're going to be doing is get and post. You're not really going to be doing much of put and delete because put and delete, unless you are kind of familiar with APIs, you're really not going to be doing much put and delete. You can, but that's beyond the scope of this video, okay? So let's go ahead and get into um, how to send data to your webhook using Postman and other high-level integrations, okay? Now, prior to this video, you would use Zapier, okay? But um, I don't want to use, I'm not going to go into Zapier. If you want more training on Zapier, you guys can leave a comment below and obviously I'll go into Zapier, but I'm going to cover um, how to send, use the integration to send data from um, let's say a form to your high level page. Okay. So first thing first, before I get started is I want to get started with a common use case of using Postman. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my high level. You want to come up here to automations. And when you come up here to automations, the first thing you need to do step-by-step -step process here, guys, is you want to go ahead and create a workflow, start from scratch, create new workflow, 
and you can call it whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's just say high level demo. Okay. So what you want to do first is now just a, just also a heads up, guys. Uh, this feature is only available. Um, I believe you get a few credits if you're not a high level um, SaaS. I believe the pro whatever agency pro. If you're not on that plan, then um, this is not accessible to you. But if you are, you're going to you're going to come up here, click add new workflow trigger. And when you click add new workflow trigger, you're going to see uh, some here called inbound webhook. Okay. So now that's the first thing you have to do first. You have to set up the webhook. So you click on inbound webhook. It's going to give you a URL here. So you just want to do is copy that URL. Now I'm going to say the use case as far as you get in data from Postman. Okay. You get the data from Postman, um, for example. And then I'm going to also use another use case of you getting data from uh, a form. Okay. So you copy that data and you come up here to Postman and in your Postman right here, all right, let's go ahead and do that. You post it in here. You want to go ahead and, you know, you can create create a new request. The way it's going to do is, let me see if I can come up here to your home. Let me just work you through the whole process here. Um, create new. Okay, click create new. Obviously, you have to create your account first. And when you click create new, it's going to say HTTP request, all of this. Just click a HTTP request, right? Create a basic HTTP request. Come here, you post the data, and then what you want to do is you want to click on post. Okay, you want to post the data because you you're getting the data and you're posting it in there. So click on post. Now for the body here, okay, for the body here, um, on the body here, you want to go ahead and set it up for a raw, and you want to make sure to change this format here. I'm going to highlight this so you understand what I'm doing here, guys. Is you want to make sure this is raw, and you want to change this right here into what is a um, you want to change it into a JSON, JSON format. Okay. Now we're changing it to a JSON format. So the first thing you want to do first is curly braces. Okay. There's a curly braces right below your backspace. Keep enter. And then what's the first data you want to send? Let's say I want to send name. Okay. So name notes, then you go, um, the two column, not a semicolon, two column. And then same thing. You want to make sure you're putting it in, in the columns, the, whatever the tick marks, I can't remember the name is. So name, so I'm sending my name in. And anyway, okay. Now, once you do that, let's say I want to go ahead and send my email as well. I can come up here to email. And then you go ahead and click on send. Okay. So when you send the data, it's going to say, so one, for instance, we have a four, uh, 400 error status code is JSON, right? Now that's because I did something here which is wrong. Let's look at another uh, request that I've done here. Ah, there you go. That makes sense. <clears throat> A comma. Boom. So all I had to do there was go in. What I did, guys, is I just went in right next to my name and I just put a comma and then email um, non and non.com. And then obviously sends the email, right? I don't have to put a comma at the end of that. Now let's say I want to go ahead and send a, a phone number, right? So let's say I want to go ahead and send phone underscore number and then same thing. Now for numbers, you don't have to put uh, the tick mark thingies. Uh, just put your number in. This is not my number guys. For those of you who are going to try to send me stuff, um, uh, that is not my number, so don't think you're going to be like, oh, we're going to manage this number. No. So I put a comma in there as well. Pardon me, guys. I forget the comma. And then that's it. There you go. Now it's send that data in, and we have my name, my email, my phone number. Okay? And you can do this for order quantity. Let's say you want to send in multiple data. Uh, if you want to send in multiple phone numbers, for instance, all you have to do is come up here. Uh, oh, let me just go ahead and show you first what you see. So now we've sent all that data, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my high level here, and I'm going to come up here to where it says test trigger. I test my trigger to see the payload. And then here you see we have two requests. The first request came in as my name and my email. And then the most recent request came in with my name, email, and my phone number. Okay. Um, so what I do here is I go ahead and save the trigger. So once you save the trigger, the next thing it's going to give you is, do you want to create or do you want to update a contact? 
Okay, do I want to create or do I want to update a contact? So let's say I wanted to create a new contact, right? So what I would do here is click on add field. And then what do you want to do? Remember the data we got, we got name, email, and phone number, right? So first thing first is first name, okay? What's another data that I sent in? I sent in my email. And another data that I sent in was I sent in my, uh, what is this stuff? Phone number, okay? So now what I'm going to do here is basically <clears throat> Set so like the name, remember the name field that we had right there, the email right there, and then the phone number right there, and then save action. And then once you save action, next thing you can do is let's say I want to send an email or send an SMS. I click send SMS, custom values, see where it says inbound webhook trigger, name, boom, and then that's it. And then, uh, and then you can go ahead and populate whatever data that you want to populate, right? Now that's if you want to use postman okay if you want to use postman to train your webhook so you can populate data into a spreadsheet right but let's say you don't want to use postman and you just wanted to use a traditional form you wanted to just use a, a regular high level form okay so for that let's just go ahead now and uh let me go into my uh, my my uh, agency account uh, So the agency account, let's come up here to, oh yeah, site, my bad. Forms, okay. And then what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and come up here to forms and I wanna go ahead and come up here to form builder. You can create a form, you can create, uh, I'm just gonna use a test form. So this test form here, but before I go ahead and do that, um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this webhook right here. Remember the webhook we created? I'm gonna create a new webhook. Okay, I'm going to create a new webhook. I'm going to come up here, add new trigger inbound webhook. And then I'm going to copy this new webhook right there. Uh, test and hook. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come up here to automation. And then under, under automation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a workflow. Um, now, I can create a workflow, but I already have a workflow created. So I'm just going to come up here. Remember, you created your form. Obviously, you want to create your form first. So, which I didn't cover the form creation part. But if you want to, I can create another video as far as how to create a form. So um, this is basically based off of a test form. So I have a test form submitted and then the webhook. So what you want to do is once you come up here, you add your workflow trigger. You come up here, you type in form submitted, right? form submitted, whatever the form is, and then you do click here to add action, and then you, you type in webhook. You don't type custom webhook, you just type in webhook, just webhook, just plain old webhook, okay? So this is this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure, make sure your webhook says post. Remember what we did at Postman? Make sure your webhook says post, and then just go ahead and paste that webhook over there. Save action, and then uh, I just have a tag in it. Delete, delete any tag, this is just me. Uh, for tra training purposes. So I go ahead and test that data. So now I go back to my form. All right, guys, I know, just be patient with me. <coughs> now I go back to my form and inside my form, I go ahead and click on integrate form open form link. Now I want you to pay attention to all the data that's going to be sent in here once the form is, um, um, obviously once the form is being created. Okay, so we're here, open form link, and then first name. So I'm, I'm doing first name. So I'm gonna call this testing for, because my staff can see this for YouTube. Okay, please don't call. Test. Okay, test at youtube.com. Okay. All right. And then the phone number here is going to be, I see it just auto populated. Oh my God. 800 432 
go 800-432-567 it just posted that and then let's go ahead now and the button is just some it's, it's just a test um a submit button okay so we just go ahead and click on button there it is there you go makes sense okay click on button oh submitted the data so now that webhook should um have caught that data right here we click on this and then click load more load more load more and what time did i send the webhook yeah you go there you go all 342 right there that's the recent request and then boom right there you go see it gave me all of that data right here so i saved the trigger You already have a similar configuration. Yes, I do. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. But uh, let's go ahead here. But there's, then again, you can come up here now, and when you create an update contact, you can put uh, I don't know, contact source. So how did you hear about us? So blah, blah, blah. And now, as you can see, I have way more data just based off of the webhook that I sent in. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys, for as far as the training for the webhooks go. Just make sure to always publish once you're done. Always publish because if you don't publish, it's useless. And then obviously publish. And then uh, I'm not going to publish, but then also just go in and save. So that's pretty much it for uh, as far as how to use a, um, a webhook. So premium webhook. So like I said, feel free to enjoy. And obviously, if you do not have your high level subscription yet and you want to get a sign up for high level, the link is in the description to sign up www.rizinresults.com forward slash high level. It will sign you up or just fancy stuff. And once you sign up, guys, and you have made your payment, just let me know. And I will uh, you get one hour of free onboarding call from a member of my team. We'll jump on Zoom with you for one hour and help you set it up. OK, that's basically the best. That's that's what we can do just based on the fact that we are getting an affiliate commission. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and also make sure that you we also provide value to you. So once you sign up for high level, just email me, uh, Emmanuel at RIZResults.com. Uh, email me and I will have uh, one of my staff members jump on with you and help you set it up. That's all I got for you guys. And also, don't forget to like the video, forget to subscribe. Um, and let me know what you want to see. I'll try to do some more demos as far as how to use high level to help you grow your business. And for the most part, guys, that's pretty much all I have uh, for this video. And um, enjoy.